Hey there everyone, it's Arif here from On Microsoft, and today I just want to showcase Windows 11 SE. Now Windows 11 SE is a special edition of Windows that comes pre-installed on select devices like the Surface Laptop SE that I have here. These are education first devices and Windows 11 SE isn't something that you'll be able to buy on your own or download on your own. There is no ISO. So that, that's what makes it a special version of Windows, which is why I'm doing this quick little hands-on. And I do apologize for not being able to record my actual screen and uh, putting my camera on a tripod here in front of the screen. And it's because in Windows 11 SE, you cannot run apps like OBS studio and there is no xbox game bar and this is because apps on windows 11 se need to be pre-approved by microsoft and loaded through microsoft intune which i do not have access to but anyway let's get started and we begin by looking at some of the limits of windows 11 se and one of those is the uh, file explorer here when as you see if you open file explorer it always will go full screen it doesn't open in the windowed mode by default. It will go full screen on you, but you could still size it around if you want and minimize it if you want. But the default behavior is for it to go full screen. And here again, I'll make, I make it full screen like that. And then if I go down here and I right click and I open a new file explorer window, you'll see that it also will pull up and open full screen. Some of the system apps also will behave that way, which is something that regular Windows 11 doesn't do. It would just open in a windowed mode. And other than that, another feature of Windows 11 SE that you won't find on regular Windows 11 is cutting down the snap layouts, the amount of snap layouts that is. So one of them here, if you go here and try and snap your windows, you'll see that you'll only get two ways to snap your windows side by side compared to the regular Windows 11, which will give you up to six. And even if you plug this into an external monitor, you'll still get these only two ways to snap your windows. Other than that, you might notice that the widgets feature is also gone. In Windows 11 SC, there is no widgets and there are no widgets uh, to be certain. And I can confirm that if you go into your taskbar settings there and you look on the list, you'll see that widgets is removed entirely. And it makes sense because this is for education users and you don't want students to go and look at MSN News and other apps. Other than that, uh, another thing to point out here is that if you're a student and you have one and you go in here and you try and launch a Win32 app, it won't work because the IT admin will have to provision these apps to your device through Microsoft Intune. Then there's also, if you try and sideload a MSIX file or a Microsoft Store app, here's Twitter, and I try to click install, it will not work because it will say that AppGuard is blocking it. Sorry, AppLocker is blocking it. And AppLocker is managed through Intune, uh, which is what the IT admins could use to push a, an app to these devices. Also of note in Windows 11 SC are these pre-installed applications. You get full Microsoft Edge, you'll get the uh, work and school edition of Microsoft Teams, and you get the full-blown Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote. Uh, if you click these and log, and it'll log you in with your with your account, and you have full-blown Office here. This is not the PWA, and this is not the web version of Office, which is pretty useful for students, again, which is the target audience of this device. You also find that there is Minecraft Education Edition pre-installed, and you'll find other system apps like uh, Groove Music and Whiteboard and the Photos app. But note that there is no Microsoft Store on this, which is what sets it apart from other versions of Windows. You'll see it's not listed here. And so students can go and download their own apps. But since this is a slimmed down version of Windows, it's mainly powered by Microsoft Edge. So if you open Microsoft Edge here and then you go into its menu and you click apps, you could install an app, a uh, website as an app. Just click the manage, install this website as an app button, give it a name, which is Instagram. 
and add the per granted the permissions and it will pin it to the start screen for you here when you go in the next time and look for your apps it'll appear there as an app. And these are progressive web apps on Windows 11 SE. See if I click Instagram, it opens in the PWA form right there. Note that you're also locked out of some of the system apps. If I try and open Command Prompt there in Windows 11 SE, it will not open. There's also no new uh, PowerShell either. PowerShell is not listed. See here, it doesn't even show up in the list. And if you try and open the classic control panel, it's, it's there, but it won't launch because again, these devices are provisioned by IT admins who use Microsoft Intune. And uh, if we look at some of the pre-installed system apps again, you'll see there's the calculator app, the camera app, uh, you have Excel, you have the file explorer, Flipgrid is pre-installed. There's also Groove Music, you have the Maps app, uh, Microsoft News, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft To Do. My movies and TV, Notepad, Office, OneDrive. A lot of the stuff on Windows 11 SE is powered by the cloud. So by default, it will try to save things to your OneDrive account, but you could save things locally to the device if you'd like. And when you're offline, it will sync it back when, once you're online. Using Windows 11 SE, most of it, I'll say, is depending heavily on Microsoft Edge. So it'll be essentially Microsoft Edge OS, kind of like how Google had Chrome OS. And when Chrome OS first started up and it was just basically a web browser on top of a keyboard, that's essentially what you're getting here. You just use Microsoft Edge to browse the web for everything. And speaking of Microsoft Edge, as you noticed here, every time I open a new tab, one thing that it will do is it will open the Microsoft Office homepage by default and it will try and get you to your files more quickly, which is one of the signature things about Windows 11 SE is student first, uh, files first and education first. It's not meant for consumers like you and me. But all that said, uh, thanks for watching everyone and see you again soon in the next video.